What's up guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, I got something cool to show you here that uh, you've seen on Instagram. Follow my Instagram guys, you would have already seen this. Uh, this is one of the uh, new products by Schrade for 2017. This is uh, their large ferrocium rod. Uh, I've had it for uh, a while now, been using it. Uh, the coating's all scraped off because I was doing a, a little marathon spark, uh, trying to shoot some uh, tender from across the driveway here, and actually I was able to hit it with this thing. So I mean, you can shoot sparks forever. Um, I've said it before in different videos why I like larger ferro rods guys if your hands get cold You know you get shaken you fall through the ice. I mean there's a million things that could happen to go wrong uh, Especially in the winter time You're gonna be able to use this a lot easier because it has a larger handle So you're gonna be able to hold it easier, but also you're gonna be able to pin your tender down um, from a distance and then be able to drop sparks down on your tinder a lot easier with something like this. So it's just way easier to use and uh, something especially if you're just getting used to using a ferrocium rod. I would say get a bigger one, you know. Uh, a lot of your knives and smaller knives and stuff will have a smaller rod. Uh, the knife that I'm going to use today, uh, SCHF56L, uh, this has a smaller ferrocium rod on it. So I mean you can see this will work fine. But you can see the difference in size of something like this and uh, what are on most knives and something like this that you could have attached to your pack or, you know, slide it down in your pocket. And uh, I'm going to do another video very soon, guys, of a way that I like to carry large ferrocium rods like this. Uh, it has a thing that attaches to my belt and I can just slide it in my pocket and that way I'll never lose it. Um, also, I recommend, you know, some of our, a lot of our pants that we wear. Uh, zipper uh, par parts and velcro and stuff like that that wouldn't be a bad option either to have something like that secured in your pocket so we're going to ignite a couple things and i'm going to show you just how easy this thing is to use uh, it's a very good mix of uh, metals uh, it throws very good sparks and they're sparks that last sometimes they might throw a lot of sparks but they don't last some of the rods um, i found this one works very well so i'll get the camera set up here guys we'll ignite a couple things we'll have a little bit of talk about the 90 degree spine of the 56l and this nice rod so what we're going to do guys, we're going to first ignite some fat wood and uh, just to show you a little thing what I like to do, uh, I have this uh, waterproof container, it has an o-ring at the top of it, uh, you can put your tinder inside of it and then it seals back up with an o-ring, this little contraption here slides down and then your tinder's waterproof. Uh, this will most likely float easy enough and uh, I have a bunch of uh, shavings in there, I have some pieces of actual fat wood in there. Uh, not to do shavings with as much as to ignite this and then uh, ignite the fat wood and then you have a flame that's lasting and then you're going to have time to uh, you know put your pencil sticks and all that stuff on there that you want to you know get the fire roaring and get it going to ignite uh, larger material uh, so uh, I recommend something like this uh, I've had a piece of birch bark in here and we'll ignite that afterwards and uh, but first I'll show you a piece of fat wood using the uh, using the 90 degree spine of the uh, SCHF56L. So we'll take this guy's 90 degree spine on this. this, is a very very good spine. It doesn't matter where you get a hold of the fat wood, you're going to be able to scrape it off. Uh, with some spines you're going to have to find maybe a sharp edge and then it'll scrape it off. On the fat wood, I mean, with this one, it doesn't matter where you scrape it, it's going to come right off in good, uh, a good fluffy fashion if you see what's going on there, what you do. And, uh, you know, this stuff is really, really good fat wood from uh, Big Boy Bushcraft. Just impregnated with uh, beautiful turpentine resin here, and that nights very well. So you don't need much to, uh, you know, to get a little flame going. And then what I would do with this pile is I would ignite it and then I would either take some birch bark and light it or I would take up some thin uh, strips of this fat wood here and uh, put it on there. So, But uh, just to show you what I mean about holding the tinder down, uh, if this was uh, just birch bark or anything like that or it was really windy, I could take this and I could set it right on top of the tinder. And you can see my hand safely away from there as well get some of this off of the spine and then you can take the very nice 90 degree spine of the 56L and then just drop the spark right in there so very easy to do uh, in cold weather that wouldn't be that hard either 
Uh, and also with this uh, mesh metal that they have on here, very good metal, there's pieces that are coming off and they're sparking and doing everything. There's still pieces even on here that, uh, you know, I could scrape back together and get to ignite just with the rod. So very, very good uh, setup to have this knife and this rod. You would have no trouble igniting some tinder. Uh, so another thing we'll ignite here, take a piece of this birch bark and uh, with a sharp knife, which this is a sharp knife, you can take it here and uh, you can even use the rod to flatten it down like so and then you can get in here and scrape up the little fibers sort of agitate the fibers and scrape it up into a little tinder here of the birch bark and get in there and uh, get little pieces of that and then you could go in here with your rod holding it down again like I said that ignited right there for a second and that ignited it just like so and that's still sparking and that's all that betulin inside there is going off and making a very very good fire so as you can see guys those were some very, very, uh, you know, easy things to do. This rod made it easy because I had, you know, I could hold it down and then strike sparks down on it like so. And uh, I had no problem. And I mean, with my hand, I can hold this easy. It's comfortable to hold. And with a good 90 degree spine, you would have no trouble. So I just wanted to show you that, guys. That's one of the new products from Shrade. Um, I'll put in the description the name of it. It's very well made. It ignites tinder very easily. And it's just a very good option to uh, safely ignite tenders and also just to practice with, guys. So get yourself a good knife, 56L, something like that with a good 90 degree spine. And get out there and practice. Get yourself a large rod by trade. You're good to go. So anyway, guys, stay safe. Spook signing out. And uh, just a quick little video I wanted to show you this rod. So take it easy, guys.